for all my previous experiments for fast prototyping any like the question answering board or like information retrieval board so this is just like a basic you know the prototype and the, all these boards don't have the you know the uh, memory to remember all the previous conversation history right so this is the one deficiency so today let's try to take a look how can we just like a quick you know quickly build our own chatbot you know based on the large language models and also with some like the you know the memory you know the functions so actually i'm going to use in the land chain to fast prototype a large language model based chatbot aware of the conversation history in just 10 minutes let's start okay so why are we using the large language models because they are ideal for creating the chatbot type of application thanks to their super advanced text generation ability and also why using the LangChain? Because LangChain is a generic large language model development framework. So it has built in the support of the memory, of the conversation histories and the uh, context and so on. So that is the essential ingredient, you know, to, for us to build any chatbot type of application and the conversational AI application. There are many resources available, such like the large language models Wikipedia, also for the LangChain framework and the community, they have many learning and the getting started the notebooks, such like the clone the GPT and like the what's the different types of memory you can use in, and also like the how to build in even some like a voice virtual assistant and so on. Let's take a look at the uh, notebook and Okay, so this is the Wikipedia for large language models. This is their documentation for the LangChain. You can see under the memory modules, then you can get a lot of like uh, hands-on, get started, and so on. Okay, so that's kind of thing. So actually, the, this is our, you know, the notebook. So this is actually the, you know, the, uh, just show like how to clone some like a ChatGPT type of experience and the, take advantage of the land chain, the memory components. So I just like to, you know, the clone and the download this notebook, but however, the original notebook doesn't work. So I have to actually to do a bit like the, the modification of the source code and make it finally working. So, and uh, all this kind of notebook and source code will be like available uh, for me to actually upload and share with everybody afterwards. Okay, so you can see like the, one key, you know, the component is such called like the conversation buffer window memory. Okay, that is actually the important part. Okay, so then, you know, we are, again, we are also using some like screen to the building our faster prototype of the application. Okay, so this is all the, you know, the, the configurations and the libraries dependencies you have to load in. So by the way, you have to actually to populate, you know, the, your, you know, API keys to call in either the uh, open AI standalone um, or like the Azure uh, open AI, you know, service. Okay. So basically, you know, the, uh, you also need to add some like callback functions to make the like land chain pipelines working. So, and uh, also specify like what could be your, you know, the larger language models to use and so on. So this is the first chunk is like to just using the land chain pipeline to actually to build a simple QA bot. So that is the most, you know, very similar to what we did. We just like using the land chain instead of like the building everything from scratch by ourselves, right? So this is like the, the prop template you can use it to actually to formalize your prop. This is like the, you can also like uh, specify the, uh, what language models you're going to use. That is actually the one advantages of the land chain because in, you can, you know, using any larger language models no matter it's from the uh, Microsoft Azure OpenAI or from the OpenAI standalone or from like a Google, the uh, TCPs, you know, Vertex AI or like any open source, you know, the, uh, the large language models, you can just like to using any models, okay, in the land chain, you know, um, that is actually, you know, the benefit, you know, okay. So then, you know, let's say starting and I uh, ask the questions and quickly, you know, the, it give me like the answer back you know, the, by the, you know, this kind of the, you know, the uh, land chain, you know, the enabled, you know, the, the pipeline, okay? So that is good. So then the next thing, you know, 
we said we are going to build in some like a chatbot, not only a simple like the QA bot, right? So for the chatbot, you know, the one essential, you know, the component is this one, the memory, okay? So this is memory. You can specify like the, the how many like the com uh, conversation, you know, the interactions, you know, you want to the, the bot to actually to uh, uh, remember. So if it's specify high from like two to 10, it will actually to remember like previous 10 interactions and so on, okay? So for this kind of notebook, you know, just like quick demo, you know, the, the, uh, the idea of this, uh, you know, the chatbot app, you know, I want the chatbot to act as like a Linux terminal and I will type in like commands and let the, you know, the chatbot to actually to, uh, to you know, to provide the, you know, the, uh, the output like the what like a typical you know the terminal will look like. So then my first the command is like a pwd. Okay, so it shows the current like the folder. So you can see after running this uh, uh, command, you can show the, like uh, my you know uh, current folder. Then I ask my next questions. You know for this uh, who am I? You can see users. You know re uh, the reply. Okay, so then ask the next questions. You know the list all the like a file and the uh, subfolders, you know, then you can just show like all the file and the subfolders and then make me a, you know, the a file jokes.txt inside and put some jokes inside, then it will make some jokes, okay? So why did the fish say when it uh, hit the wall, damn, okay? So such a kind of thing, very interesting. So you can just uh, go on, go on, and uh, for example, all these kind of uh, Linux, you know, commands, you know, you actually to input and then get like the, the, the uh, language models output uh, as if it's just like the terminal for, for you to use, okay? So that's good. And also like the um, echoes in the command. So like the dockers in the command, the ping command, okay? And, uh, uh, and so on, and like the uh, Linux command, okay? Try to access the info from the internet, code command, add for the information exchange between the client and servers, and so on, you can see, this is a lot of interesting, the output you can see and so on, okay? So great, okay. So yeah, so this is just a quick demo of the notebook. So now I'm going to do some like the like for like a comparison, okay? So previously we building our simple, just like question and answering, you know, the one, one round, you know, the, the bot. So I'm going to compare with like the uh, our LAN chain, you know, memory enable the chatbot today, okay? So let's actually to have some test. So here, you know, the, this is my original, the Python script, you know, the for like simple like QA bot, okay? So let's do it, okay? Just like a spin up the Spring Lead applications, okay? Just waiting for seconds and the app, uh, web app will be up and running, okay? Right, okay? Let's give it a quick test, okay? Asking some like the simple questions, okay? To test if the bot have the memory or not, okay? Okay, it's going to come up, okay? Who is the director of the movie Avatar? How many children does he have? We do not know the answer to this question as it is not public information. Stop. Thank you very much for using GPT powered virtual voice assistant. See you soon. Okay, you can see, you know, the, I ask uh, the first question, who is the director of the movie Avatar? It gives me the correct answer. And then my second question actually is uh, really like the, you know, challenges the, the AI, because, you know, if it uh, has the memory, it will know like what has the, uh, he means, you know, in my second question. If the AI doesn't have any like the memory, it won't answer this question. So no surprise. 
for my previous like the simple question answering bot, you know, it doesn't actually like remember all the previous conversations, you know, the context. So this is why it couldn't answer the second question. Now let's testing our like the LangChain memory in about the chatbot. Okay, so let's actually to close this one. Okay, and running the second script. Okay. Okay. This one, this one actually the LAN chain is the chatbot, you know, the uh, with the memory support. Okay, let's start and run it. Okay, here. Okay, just like waiting for seconds and the uh, web app will be up and running. Okay. I'm going to ask the, the like for like question and just do some comparison. Okay. Who is the director of the movie Avatar? How many children does he have? James Cameron has four children, three daughters and one son. What's uh, his wife's nationality? Can you recommend another similar movie to that one? Mm. Yes, I can recommend another movie similar to Avatar. Some other movies that have a similar plot and themes include Avatar, The Last Airbender, The Matrix, and Elysium. Stop. Thank you very much for using GPT-powered virtual voice assistant. See you soon. Okay, guys, you can see now, you know, the uh, when I ask my second, third, and the fourth questions, which is really depends on like the, the memory and the, uh, or the AI to remember all the, uh, my, you know, conversation history, you can see it know like what the he means and also like remember what the movie, you know, refer to actually all the best on like the previous conversation, you know, the uh, dialogue, you know, the uh, context. So that's it nice show like uh, now we have the, our first chatbot enabled by the large language models and LangChain memory component. Okay. Okay. So hopefully you also learn something new today and uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel to keep updated to the latest trend on the AI, generative AI, machine learning, deep learning, domains. I also download the copy of these slides and uh, the notebook for your personal, you know, the study and, uh, and the reproduce for use and experiment. And uh, yeah, hopefully to see you next time. Thank you everybody. Bye.